the blood pepper. All right, so this plant, it grew to about three feet tall, probably more like three and a half. And these are the peppers. They are absolutely gorgeous. And it's, it's fairly productive. It's not my most productive grow. But they are some gorgeous peppers. We've got another here. And more down here. And this is one plant. So I have about a half dozen peppers to pick here. Here's another plant. And it's got some smaller peppers on it. There's some here on this little bush. And then there's more here on this one. This one stayed a little on the smaller end. I'm pretty sure I broke a branch off this one. It's a little on the smaller end. And the peppers don't have much purple on them. I'm guessing it's because of the cooler weather. But these peppers, they're basically just a bell pepper. They are tasty. They're productive enough to grow. The big thing for me is they are absolutely gorgeous peppers. Again, we come back over here to this one. And they're just beautiful. I love them. So I will definitely grow them again. They are sweet. They're not quite as flavorful as some other sweet peppers. So if you're looking for flavor and sweetness, you may want a different variety. But if you're trying to balance beauty, productivity, flavor, and a decently thick wild pepper, this is a great choice. So you can't go wrong with the blot pepper. But if you're looking for something that offers more sweetness, more flavor overall, and a little more productivity, I'm going to have to recommend the Ezvarsky pepper. I just believe it's far superior. Now, here's that other pepper. This is the Ezvarsky pepper, and this is green, as you can see, and it's decently sized. Here's another one. This one is quite productive. I did pick most of what was on the plant. Looks like I have a ripe one here. Now ripe, they're super sweet, they're very delicious, and they're a great snacking pepper. But green or red, they're good for cooking. Green, they're still sweeter. They're, they're a little sweeter than a bell pepper. So they're great to pick as green bell peppers or as red snacking peppers. So if you're looking for an absolutely striking pepper, I'm going to say give the blood a go. You cannot go wrong with it. Just don't be surprised if you don't get peppers to late in the season. This was one of my latest producers. But oh, were they worth the wait. Just beautiful.